Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and in this one I am creating a background using some neon paints and I'm using my uh, technique, it wasn't originally my idea, <laughs> I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's one that Dina does, um, of adding the paints onto my brush and smooshing them across the page. I am using some neon paints, so I'm using um, the brand new neons from Dina uh, in the yellow, orange and pink. They are beautiful as you can see and here I'm using this stencil and I'm going in and just adding some white stenciling over the top as a contrast to those amazing bright colours. So now I've added that stenciling over all the page, I'm then using some of the paint that is left on my blending tool and I am just softening the edges of the page a little bit and liked how it looked so decided to get a little bit more paint too. Um, this just kind of, for me, just kind of creates that sort of, I don't know, almost like a hazy feel to the edges of the page and uh, it's a technique that I've been doing a little bit, don't quite know why but um, I have. <laughs> so now I'm just using this black uh, fine liner. It's, I think, um, a pilot one. And I'm just um, outlining some of those circles in some quite sketchy lines. So just starting to build up some of the pattern detail on the background. This is a stamp from the Collage Girls stamp set. Um, I think this one's called Lonely Girl. I'm never sure which one is actually Lonely Girl in that set, but I love all of the stamps in the Collage Girls set. I think they're just fabulous. Um, so I'm stamping her onto a tag. The only reason I'm using a tag is because I was lazy and it was what was there. And I had this tag that already had um, this kind of smoosh of paint left over um, from when I was doing my background page. And I thought this image would work really well with a little bit of that colour. Uh, peeking through it would work to sort of marry up with the background that I'd created so I realised that you, you'll be cringing some of you because you'll be like Claire you're wasting a tag I know as bad isn't it but it worked and I quite liked the fact that these colours matched what was already on my background as well I suppose it would only have been wasted, wouldn't it, if I'd thrown it away and not used it. But I did use it, so it's all good. So I'm just cutting round the lettering. I really like that um, sort of scribbly writing down on that uh, side of the figure as well. And then just starting to think about where I was going to pop her on my page, where she would work best. I'm just spending a little bit of time making sure that I've cut round, just fussy cutting round that writing to really carefully so then I decided I wanted to add some um, collage paper underneath the figure just poking out a little bit so using a bit of ultra, ultra thick gel medium just to stick that in place so that's just adding another layer of interest onto that background just bringing some text onto there as well that's a, an element that I like to add onto my pages And then just keep checking with that figure that I'm not making this too busy to cope with the image. So this is a little bit of uh, tissue paper. It's just got some black dots on. Um, if you order anything from me, you will get it wrapped in this tissue paper. And it's fabulous for adding into your projects, uh, which was one of the reasons why I bought it, because I just think it's um, so useful to have something like that in your stash. OK, so then I... I'm just adding a little bit of a dark shadow where the figure is going to go. So although I loved the background, the figure did get a little bit lost on there because it was very white and so were the edges of the figure. So by adding that little black shadow, I am just um, giving that the eye somewhere to rest before it sees uh, the figure as well and then before it sort of moves over to the background. So 
kind of creating a calmer area. You will have seen me do it before when I've created a really bold background and then I've added a little bit of white over the top just where my image is going to go to just calm that down. So it's the same kind of technique, I guess. This is my dotty stamp. Um, you can't buy this on its own, unfortunately. You can only get it in the Journal Mark stamp set uh, that I designed for Funky Fossil. Um, and I've just added some stamp ping and some white Posca pen dots as well. Then I've drawn some lines for my writing and I am going in using my Posca pen and oh look some biscuits and tea have appeared on my desk. How sweet. I think that was one of that was my husband that did that. How bless blessing wasn't that lovely. Um the only trouble is of course is that I ended up eating those biscuits. This is never good is it? The temptation it was too much they were just sat there looking at me um yeah so i'm using these lines as my guide for writing my letters making them touch the top and the bottom and um, it's a really easy way to create that um kind of slightly quirky handwritten look um yeah and it just it makes it takes that pressure off as well She's thinking, oh no, I'm, how big How big is my writing going to be? How big does it need to be? Um, I've got to fit all these words in. This gives you that space to fit your words in so you don't need to worry about any of that. It takes away that extra element of worry. And here I'm mixing lowercase and uppercase letters as well. Again, just kind of creating that slightly quirky look to my journal page. So that's really it for this page. I think that's where it finishes. Um, it was lots of fun to create. Using those neons really do give a lovely pop of colour to the page. They're lots of fun to play with. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you found some inspiration, um, different techniques on ways to um, add images onto your page by creating a slightly calmer area on a busy background too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.